can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. Logan Paul is being called out by a plus size model for using her as a human bicycle in one of his music videos. At this point, is any of this Logan Paul news surprising? Logan Paul has managed to keep himself out of headlines for the past several weeks, but now a plus-size model named Eliza Johnson is speaking out about how horrible she felt after being used as a human bicycle in his November 2017 music video for No Handlebars. Yes, you heard that right. Logan Paul literally rode on Eliza's back like she was the base of a bike and then put the video on YouTube. The music video is a parody of a song called Handlebars, which was released in 2008. Eliza had no idea what project she was working on and when she was cast and discovered who Logan was just hours before they started filming, everything was a surprise to her when she got to set. She opened up about her experience with Psychology Today saying, we got on set and he came up and said, have you heard of a human bicycle? We didn't know the song, we didn't know anything, I'm the base of the bike. He was riding on top of my back the whole video. We were on a little trolley that they rigged up to a truck pulling us and we did that five or six times and we went about 200 meters each time. I was standing there trying to keep my balance with Logan on my back, jumping all over and holding only another model as we're being pulled by this car. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. The model also says that they filmed her scene so many times that her legs almost gave out. That was a direct quote. But while she was uncomfortable from the beginning, she didn't realize how degrading the whole thing was until she saw the final version when Logan posted it to YouTube in November. She said, I felt kind of abused. Of course, I felt ashamed when something like this happens and we kind of become victimized. We don't really realize it. We want to just block it out or say, maybe it's just me or maybe it's not happening. It's a very confusing type of thing to experience. There was a making of a video prior to the actual video coming out. They're filming us and he's saying, okay, this is how you do it. And I was just laughing because I couldn't even believe what was going on. I thought, I really hope this ends up being a really funny satire because he kept saying it was going to be epic. It was going to be great. I was not aware of what he stood for. Eliza also points out that she was the only plus size model among the roster of eight or nine women and thinks the fact that she was the one used as the base of the bike was to quote, make a mockery of everything. And to make matters even worse, she eventually found out that she was being paid hundreds of dollars less than the other women featured in the videos. Luckily, she was eventually able to address the issue with producers and get equal pay. Do you ever just want to grab Logan Paul and say, what are you thinking? Because I'm feeling that way more and more. There are so many issues with Eliza's experience, and while it's great that she's speaking out to hopefully prevent other people from going through something similar, it is still so sad that she had to deal with all of this. Do you guys think that Logan will ever respond to this interview? Should she expect an apology? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below, and also click right here to relive all of the best moments from the 2018 Kids' Choice Awards. I'm your girl, Erin Robinson, and I'll see you next time.